Okay guys, been getting a lot of people asking me this question when they walk into the store. They're always like, hey man, I, can I get some chrome rims? Hey, can I get some chrome spokes? Hey, I really don't like chrome because it's too much bling. I want something that is silver. There's po what about polish? Hey, is polish like, like chrome? I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there have, have answered that question to your friends or you guys have asked that. Well here guys, I'm gonna give you a real quick rundown of what my opinion is. What I know, not the facts, okay? I'm only telling you guys what we know here. I know some of you guys comment and go, oh, foods, look, 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 look. I've been doing this for, what, two decades? How much is a decade? 10 years. 10, is that a decade? Oh yes, I thought a decade was that trick you do on the bike. That too. Okay. So, I'm, I'm telling you guys from my experience, okay? So, first of all, I got some rims there. I think the rim is probably the best bet. Now, off the bat, if you guys look at this, you see how shiny it is? Oh, oh. Have you bought the new camera yet? Is that the new camera? Okay, because the other one, I don't think you could tell. But this right here is chrome, I mean, chrome. This one's a little bit, uh, Chrome. No, actually guys, this is polish. You guys are sitting there, you guys are like, dude, it must be his slant eyes. Like, it looks all the same. Look at that bling. Now, I know some of you guys out there are kind of like cranking up your smart assness and go, look, it's so obvious. Guys, what you guys don't understand is that there's different level of chroming. Some of the chroming, if you guys heard, hey, what's their favorite? Triple chrome. Tri triple chrome. And yeah, man, I got my thing triple chrome. The, yeah, it's gonna be triple take them home because of triple chrome. <laughs> like, you heard, we've heard it. There's even a guy go, dude, I'm getting my thing quadruple. Okay, I, I don't know. But I know there's different finish because why? Come over here, guys. S and M bars. Alf, look at this part right here. Look at this. Uh, I hope you get blind by this. Do you see that this one's a little bit silver? This one, but guys, this is chrome. It's the way they prep it and, and how much they chrome. So that's why some of you guys might look at it and you guys might be like, that's polished, that's silver, that's chrome. No guys, it's just different grade. But guys, some of you guys are right. This one right here, this one's actually powder coated. This is powder coated chrome. I bet you some of you guys are like, wait, what? Powder coat chrome? Elf, didn't you ask me that earlier? You're like, hey, it's true. It's true, they have powder coated chrome. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna get canceled for this, but what, what did I say it was? Mexico chrome. Mexi chrome? <laughs> Some of you guys know, you guys go, go buy that spray paint and it says chrome. Cancel. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> guys, don't cancel me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> it's maxi chrome. So that's what this is right here. This is polish. One of the way you guys can tell, look at this guys, the back side. When you chrome something, I know some of you guys in there, you guys might be a chromer, you work a chromer, please give, give us a detailed description on the chroming process, but I know they dip this in a solution. And inside the solution, this chrome particle that is attracted to this. The finer detail, hey, I'm an old man now. I'm not gonna do homework no more, okay? You guys read up, I know how it works. But since the whole thing submerged, that means the whole thing's gonna get chrome, even the inside and the outside. That's how you can tell something is authentic chrome. Now, you get some of the guys out there that polish the crap out of this. This one right here isn't a really good polish, but I've seen polish that is shiny as the chrome. But guess what, guys? If you look at the back side, it's silver, it's raw. That's how you can tell this one's not chrome. But, Look at the maxi chrome. Look at the finish. Compare this. See how this one's that raw gray? This one, look, it's still silver. This is the maxi chrome powder coat. So they powder coat the inside and the outside of this. This is not silver anodized. I could not find a rim that's silver anodized. Do we have do we have one? Do we have you know what? Right there. Right on that fit pipe. That that right there is silver anodized. This right here, guys, silver anodized. Because the anodized is so thin, you can see it. Where this, you can't see that. 
because it's powder coated over. So this is the powder coat chrome. Now, price difference? Of course, the chrome, because there's more process in, involved in it. And what you guys don't know, maybe some of you guys could correct me, but all I know is that there's a lot of chrome shop around my area, they've closed down because the EPA law has changed. Why? Because apparently chrome, the chemical that's involved, caused cancer, okay? I'm pretty sure all of us are like, just clapping and cheering, so yeah, 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 we want that, nobody wants cancer. So a lot of the, the things around here, they have moved their, their, their shop or else, or else the EPA has made them pay an environmental fee. But apparently if you pay the fee, then the cancer gets less severe. I think SNM told us that one of their chromer, they, they actually make all their stuff and they ship the whole truckload down to Mexico to get it done because the environmental law over there hasn't, hasn't changed much. But the chromey, because of all the stuff they have to go through, will cost more. The powder coat, I think, I think the powder coat chrome will get better. It will get better and better as, as technology goes and it will be the next thing. Yes, the powder coat has its own hazard, but it's not as bad. From what I was told that the, the water that the chrome is in, after they're done, that water is dumped. Now some people dump it into the gutter, into the river, wherever. Dude, that's terrible, guys. I swim in that stuff all the time. That's the stuff we gotta swim in. But some of you guys might, might, might wonder going, okay, well, you know what? Why can't we live without chrome? Okay, careful you say that around. You say that around some of the, some of the bullseye bassin guys, they're gonna have a heart attack. They're like, no way, no way. I need the chrome to take me home, okay? But guys, the polish like this, if you guys, really want to know the detail, Google, Google it up. But here's the thing. If you ever take a little, like like something to scratch a piece of metal, you notice when you scratch it, it becomes like silver. Well, when they polish it, it is millions and millions of little scratches. That's what makes it shiny. So when you stop on this, it's not gonna stop real well because it just has a bunch of little scratches. It's not as smooth. And you're actually stopping on raw aluminum. The chrome, it is smooth, it is smooth, it's like glass because there's that chrome coating outside. So when you stop on it, it actually stops better on chrome. So some of you guys out there, I know you guys are nodding your head, give me a comment. Is that true, is that false? What have you guys experienced? Now the thing I also wanna touch in is that a lot of the manufacturer, the way they label stuff. For example, guys, are these chrome? Look at this. Chrome nipples, chrome nipples. Guys, this is not chrome. Look at the label right here, okay? Silver. Guys, this thing right here is not chrome, okay? This is just polished out, polished out. Just like these spokes. These are stainless spokes, they're not chrome. I know I get a lot of you guys call and they're like, oh, you know what, I, it's gotta be chrome, it's got, guys. It doesn't look as shiny as this, but when they're built on a wheel, ah, uh, where is it, like this, it looks like it's chrome. It's not chrome, guys. These are all stainless steel and they polish it. I don't use mild steel. If I do, I should be ashamed of myself. We don't use that, but you can see it's kind of gray. But there are guys out there that goes and they get individual one chrome. But as far as I know, all my distributors and all the manufacturers that I have ever worked with, they do not chrome the spokes. All the chrome you see out there are all done customized. They went out, they got it done. Also, if you guys look, the infamous shadow chain, the chain that everybody use, okay? Shout out to Shadow for making one of the best. What's that say? Silver. This is not silver. This is chrome. This is chrome right here. So sometimes these manufacturers, they mislabel it. I don't know why Shadow puts silver. They should put chrome because you know what? It'll probably make it sell a lot better than it already does by putting chrome. We've done it where we sold to people and they're like, hey, do you sold me the wrong one and say silver? No, it's chrome. It's chrome. Now, I know you guys out there, you guys are, hey man, I want a chrome stem. Like the profile. Guys, this is polish. Look, remember what I was telling you? Remember what I was telling you, look at, look at these two finish. This is high end polish right here. But again, how can you guys tell if this is, is chrome or high polish? Look at the inside, it's still raw. 
if this was chrome all this all this right here would be all shiny chrome so this is one of the way you could tell if it's chrome it's all the little cracks inside look so this is actually high polish and the other reason why you see this stem that are not chrome now guys you guys are going no way no way no way i've seen it fool you're wrong I, I can't control what people, if they buy this and they go get it chrome, but the manufacturer won't because, guys, when you tighten this thing down, what do you think is gonna happen to this cap? This cap is going to flex and it's gonna bend. I've seen it and I've warned the customers. As soon as we tighten it, you start seeing the chrome cracking up here. We've seen it where the chrome cracks right here. Yeah, some of you guys are like, well, that's cheap chrome. That's I, Look, I'm not a chromer. I'm just telling you guys what I saw. But as far as I know, the chrome is harder than the aluminum finish. So if you go and chrome it, there is a very good chance it's gonna crack. Seat clamps, the one that you see that's super high polish, they're not chrome, okay? They are polish. Now there are the one that you go, you go, look, 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 I'll send you. Some of you guys have DM me pictures. Yes, they do have chrome steel seat clamp but they do it so, so cheap. They do it so thin that it can. They do the chrome so thin that, you know what? It's, it's this is shinier. This is shinier. It's just, it looks like raw, but they still consider chrome because they want to sell it. It's that pinch. I think I got it pretty covered out. I'm pretty, pretty dry here. Huh? You got any, you got any, nothing, nothing? Or, where's that chrome tooth of yours? Yeah, I wish, <laughs> silver. <laughs> Guys, did I cover all that I can? Did, do you guys understand that? If you guys don't, comment in so next time I'll get more detail. There's a lot, I got a lot of people out there watching that are super. I wish you guys were here to do this with me because some of you guys are commenting in and you guys are being great to the BMS community. So guys, whatever you guys see and you guys see the mistake I make or you guys want to add on, comment in. Please, share this video and Subscribe guys, subscribe. Don't just go on here and just click, look at it and get off. You need to subscribe, please. Okay, I, I gotta get